Hey guys, what's going on? Two crews here checking in with... Tunes. We're here with Tun Chan and she's helping me out with today's video. And today we're gonna to be talking about bike locks. So as a daily bike commuter here in Japan, I'm often asked what bike lock I recommend for bike commuting, uh, for daily cycling. And there's a whole bunch of different types of locks. So we're gonna be talking about a few different locks today. Uh, Tun Chan is holding a few of them in her hands and we've got a few more in my backpack so we're going to be talking about those today which one is best and which one is best for different situations today's video is also sponsored so a big thank you to via velo for helping sponsor today's video and sending these locks over to us for us to review so anyway let's start let's start let's, let's start. go, let's go. Yeah. so we're here over at hana mizuki dori station over in the east side of nagoya this is actually a maglev train station so it's completely automated. And you can see there's a whole bunch of different bike parking here today. So we've got a perfect place to test this out. And our bikes that we're using today, this is my daily commuter bike. This is my Schwinn Madison Nanachan. It's a steel single speed fixed gear. And Tunchan's on her mountain bike today. This is her BMC Team Elite 03 aluminum. This is Kuchan. Kuchan. <laughs> so we're on our orange and yellow bikes today. And the thing I like about these two locks first is that they fit right in the frame. They're easy to bring with you. So these locks actually come with some different frame mounts. So we've got one here on the top tube. I've got one here on the rear seat post. So they just go inside. So let's put them in really quick. So we just put it in like that. And then the other one folds on the back. Just like that. So the thing I really like about these two locks is they fit right on the frame itself. So you don't have to worry about the extra weight in your backpack. And I almost always carry a backpack with me when I'm cycling and I really like to keep the weight more on the bike rather than on me. So the more I can fit on the bike itself, that's really great. So the other parts of the locks actually are in my backpack here. So let's show you guys really quick before we go into all of them. So, so far we have the U-lock, we have the cable lock, and this is actually another cable attachment. This goes in combination with a U-lock. Unfortunately, I don't have a simple way to put this on the frame itself, so I keep this in my bag, but it's really light. And the other one we're gonna be working with today, this is a new lock type for me. I've never used these before, but this is a folding lock. It seems really handy, it feels really strong, and it gets really compact, so you can see it just folds down to this small size. You can put it in your pocket, just like that. You can ride with it like that if you wanted to. And I'm sure you could find an adapter to put it on your bike if you wanted to. And we've got one more little lock that we're gonna be looking at today. These are really popular in Japan. These are just the small little pocket locks. So I carry this with me wherever I go just cause it's super light and it's always good to have a little backup. All right, so we got our locks. Let's head on over to the rack and get the bike locked up. And choosing the location is really important. You really wanna choose a safer area, a place that's well lit up where there's actual designated bike parking and where there's a decent amount of traffic so people can watch if there's something shady going on. So we've got designated bike parking right here. Let's head on right over there. Normally we'd be riding, but today we're just walking over. And there's a whole bunch of different bikes in here, all different types. We've got a lot of Mama Charity bikes. We've got some mini velo bikes, which are really popular in Japan. And we just roll our bike on into the rack. Make sure it doesn't fall over. So these types of racks are really common in Japan, but they're actually not the safest solution because the most important part when you're locking up your bike is you wanna lock your frame to something solid. And you can see the closest contact point we have here is just to the wheel. So we're gonna be able to lock the wheel to this part, but someone could easily remove this wheel and take the rest of the bike. That's not really common in Japan, but if you live in a more dangerous country where bike theft is more common, you really wanna be careful about locking up your bike and making sure it's safe. So for example, let's take the U-lock first and this U-lock requires a key, so let's unlock it. And the U-lock is really strong because it's just metal all around. It's metal down here, it's metal up here, and it's really difficult to cut through this. You're not gonna be able to do that without some serious equipment. So for example, we can lock it up like this. We can lock the front wheel to the frame and that way we keep both of these safe. The problem with this solution is we're not tying the bike to anything so people can still take the bike away. So you always wanna tie the bike down to something solid and we can only do that here with this solution, unfortunately. So we could lock this up like this and there we go. But that's really not that great. So 
it's usually always a good idea to carry an extra cable with your U-lock, and this cable actually comes together with this U-lock in a set, and that way we can loop the cable through the wheel, back through here, and that way we get the wheel and the frame all together nice and happy. So this is a pretty secure setup. The problem with this though is we're not securing the rear wheel at all and ideally we'd want to get all of that together. So the only way to do that is you need two different cables. So you can put the cable up to the front, the cable up to the back. Um, the other solution is you carry an extra lock. So that's a convenient part of carrying both of these locks. We've got the cable lock back here. So we just fold that off. And this is actually a combination style lock. So this one's nice because you don't have to carry any extra keys or anything. You don't have to worry about losing your key or forgetting your key. And can you guess my combination? I'm still on the, the default combination, but ideally you want to put it something a little bit more safe, but I haven't changed it yet just to keep it simple for this video. And you can see the cable lock is really flexible so you can get a whole bunch of different positions. And this is really long, so we can go all the way from there up to here. It's not enough to get up to the front wheel, unfortunately, so this is just gonna be able to lock one wheel to the frame itself, but that's still really good. And we can lock it up like that, and it's ready to go. So again, the nice thing about this lock, it's really lightweight, it's really simple to use, you don't need to carry any extra keys. The disadvantage of the cable lock, though, is depending on the thickness of the cable, some cable locks are really thin, some cable locks are really thick. This one's really thick, so it's really well protected. You're gonna need some serious bolt cutters to cut through this. Really lightweight, easy to carry, really great lock. I think these are one of the more common locks that people use, especially here in Japan. And when you're done, when you're ready to go, you just put in the combination, pull the lock out, roll it back up, put it back in, just turn one of them so it doesn't fall apart and lock it up, we're ready to go. That's really convenient. So yeah, these are really easy to use. The other lock we have here is the folding lock and I've been really excited to test this out for the last few weeks. Like I mentioned, I'd never used one of these before. So again, a big thank you to our sponsor Via Velo for sending this over. It's really cool getting the opportunity to test out all these different locks. I've seen these for a long time. I know people have recommended them to me, but I never got one for myself until now. This is the total length of it. There's different types of folding locks that you can get. I'm sure there's some that are a little bit longer than this, but for the most part, you're not gonna be able to get much more of a range than this. So this is just gonna be able to lock one wheel to the frame usually, or one part of the bike. So this could actually lock us up down here. We could get that part. We can lock it the same way as the U-lock here and actually cut through the same wire lock. So we could do a combination of both just like we are doing here. So that's really convenient. And this is lighter than the U-lock. So that's another bonus point. It's lighter, it gets way smaller. The bad thing about the U-locks is these things are massive and most of the weight is in the bottom part. So it's not exactly a balanced weight. So if you're doing a really long commute, I wouldn't really recommend bringing the U-lock because you're gonna really feel that on a long commute. And yeah, this is just way more compact, way less luggage and a little bit lighter weight. And we can also fit this through the back here as well. And you're gonna need the key to be able to lock this in place once it's in. There we go, it's in there. Safe and ready to go. And the last lock I wanted to share with you guys is this little pocket lock, which I always carry with me just as a backup lock in case I need it. And this is just super lightweight. You can see this is another wire lock and this can be cut through easily with any basic pair of scissors, I think, or wire cutters. So it's really not the safest option. It's not gonna protect you. If you really wanna protect your bike, you need something more serious like these, but these are really convenient and they work better than nothing if you don't have anything at all. So I recommend to always have at least something like this. Always make sure to lock up your bike. I know in my channel, we often don't lock up our bikes uh, when we travel to different places here in Japan, but we're lucky we can get away with that here in Japan, but unfortunately bike theft is a reality and we wanna be as safe as possible. So in terms of safety, so let's review again a little bit and compare all these different locks that we've introduced today. So in terms of safety, this is the least safe option of all the locks that we've introduced today. The advantage of this lock though is it is the smallest lock and it's the lightest. So in terms of portability, this one's really good, but yeah, I wouldn't use this as my main lock ever. And in terms of safety, actually I would think the safest lock combination would be the U-lock with the wire combo or with the folding lock. These are the most solid materials that are difficult to cut through. So people aren't just gonna be able to bring a wire cutter and just cut through these. So I would say these are the more safe options. But like I mentioned before, the U-lock solution is really heavy. It is really bulky. So 
If you're putting this in your backpack, it's gonna be pretty heavy. It's gonna tire you out. Um, if you're lucky and you have a frame mount kind of option like I do, you can just put it in the frame like this. And this is what I do on my shorter commutes. So my commute used to be 40 kilometers every day. And now my commute is more like five to 10 kilometers every day. So it's really short now compared to what it used to be. And I can bring this heavier lock with me. So I bring this lock with me now every day. It's also a little bit more bulky if you bring the extra wire accessory. You don't always need it depending on where you are. If you're locking it up in a relatively safe place, usually you can get away with just the U-lock. But if you wanna be as safe as possible, it's always best to have both of them. But yeah, this is the bulkiest solution and the heaviest solution of all of these. And you could probably find a way to put this on the bike, but I just put it in my backpack here. Luckily my backpack has this nice little pocket in the back, so I can just put things inside it really quickly and grab it when I need to. I'm going through all my keys here. So the two locks that require keys are the U-lock and the folding lock here. They're actually separate keys. So I've got both of them on my keychain. And yeah, the folding lock is just really easy to work with. The wire, you sometimes have to kind of fight it. <laughs> and so you have to use a little bit of muscle to get it to move the way you want it to. But this just goes perfectly straight, comes out really easy to work with. Yeah, let's just lock it back up. There we go. And man, this doesn't require any work. You just fold it. You don't even have to worry about it. It's not a puzzle. It just goes back together. When you want to use it, you pull it out, unlock it. And yeah, this just gets really compact for the level of protection and the small level of compactness. I would say this is probably the best overall lock. The disadvantage of it is it doesn't have that much of a range. You can't go very far with it. You can't lock too many things together, but you could easily carry two of these. You could use a combination of this and the wire. So I think that'd be really good. But yeah, in terms of size, it's the same size as just the bottom part of the U-lock here. So it's not even a comparison. It's pretty ridiculous. But then in terms of total size, it's almost exactly the same thing. So you're getting the same kind of level of lock, but at a fraction of the size. So that's really cool. And last but not least, we got our lovely wire lock. So like I mentioned before, sometimes the bad thing about wire locks, you got to muscle the wire locks to get them to move the way that you want them to move, especially the ones that are coiled like this. And I mean, it's both a good and bad thing because it coils back easily. So when you go to store it again, it goes back in the position. But when you want to like, uh, put it and lock it up in here. You do need a little bit of extra muscle strength. So that's something to consider. It's not a lot of muscle strength, but sometimes it can be frustrating after a long, hard day of work. You don't want to fight against your lock. You just want to grab your lock and go. So that's maybe one downside. But again, in terms of weight, this is one of the lightest solutions in portability. It folds down pretty small, definitely way smaller than the U-lock solution here. And I love these mounts here. So you can actually put these mounts anywhere on the bike you want to, especially this wire lock here. This one can go anywhere. It can go here, 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 here. But I find that this solution is the simplest and best one for me, um, especially because I'm not using a saddlebag or anything right now. So these are all the different types of locks that I'm using. What do you guys think? Which of these solutions is best? Actually, let's ask Tuanchan her opinion, what she thinks after seeing all these different locks, which one she likes best and why. Okay, Tuanchan. どっちが一番安全だと思う。U <laughs> what do you guys think of Tuanchan's super camo pants? <laughs> this is my first time I think seeing her wear these. So give thumbs up for Tuanchan's awesome camo pants. In a 20 minute commute, this one's best. これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ。これ
トイレ<笑>あ俺のロック盗んだ。No. Your luck. Oh, arigato. All right, guys, I think that's the end of today's video. Let us know what you think. Which lock is the best solution for bike commuting, for general cycling? Which one is the safest? Which one is the strongest? I hope this video was interesting and informative for you guys. I think Tunchan learned a lot today. Also, before we go, a big thank you to our sponsor today, Via Velo. If you're interested in any of the locks that we showed today, you can check them out on their website. We'll leave the links down below. So thanks again. And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and like the video. We'll be making more videos about cycling, life here in Japan coming up. As always, thanks for watching. Tung's ready to go. We gotta go eat some dinner. Onaka suito ne. Onaka suito. All right, it's getting dark. We gotta go. Time to go eat. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time here on Tubo Cruise. Bye bye. Bye bye. Let's go. Let's go. Don't go. <laughs>